To celebrate the new year, I just bought a firework that's stronger than a nuke, and I'm about to blow it up. What is going on, TFG Squad? My name is Brandon, and welcome back to Fireworks Mania. I haven't played this game in so long, and it got big new updates. So the first thing they added was a workshop, so now you guys can create crazy things, and I can download them. And they also added a new map. It is the city. Yeah, we're about to blow up this city. Oh, I love this already. If you want to see more fireworks mania, don't forget to hit that like button and make sure you subscribe right now. So let's check out the new things that I've downloaded. If I go to workshops, you can see these crazy things. There's a Moab missile, uh, another rocket. There's a bunch of cakes and, and it's not the type of cake that you eat for your birthday. This is a explosive cake. We've got, uh, here's the nuke right here. So you can see it down here. This is the biggest firework in the history of the world. It's big enough to blow up the entire planet. We've got a barrel of TNT. We've got dynamite grenades. We've got a couple tubes. One of them is called the monster air bomb, which just sounds uh, like a bad idea to blow up. And we've got, whoa, I didn't even realize I downloaded this. Apparently there's Minecraft things and cars. Wait, can I drive these cars? Let's try it really quickly. Uh, let's put that down there. Ow, it's on my head. Brent, Brent, oh, I'm launching cars everywhere. This is not going well. Brandon, will you stop it? Will you stop it? Okay, sweet. Can I jump in here? Uh, press T to enter the vehicle. Whoa, can I drive? This is crazy. Okay, Fireworks Mania now has cars that you can actually drive. Okay, well, wait, there's a horn. Wait, wait. <laughs> What about, there's a radio? Wait, let's play the radio. I like this. Okay, we're gonna get out of the car. I wanna see if I can blow this thing up. So let's go over to the Minecraft TNT. Let's put it right next to our car. Let's take out our lighting tool. Let's light the TNT. Is it gonna work? Is it actually gonna blow up like mine? Yes. Yes, the answer to does it actually blow up is yes. I was kind of hoping to blow up the car a little bit better. What are the other Minecraft tools? Glass, grass, stone, wood. Can I like blow up stuff? Like, can I blow up the... Oh, what if I light... I have an idea. What if I light the TNT block right next to the glass? Will that shatter the glass? Let's find out. Three, two, one, and... Oh, it... Wait, it just kind of launched the glass. Okay, that's got to be the world's strongest glass in the history of glass. It's like fireproof, bulletproof glass. Okay, enough of this nonsense. Let's go to the real fireworks. So at the end of the video, I am going to light this giant nuke. But I want to see these other things, like a barrel of TNT. Again, we're going to put it right next to the car because I do want to blow up the car. So let's put the TNT right there. Let's take out our ignition tool. How do we light this thing? Oh, right there. Okay. Oh, no, smoke is coming out of the barrel. Is it? Wait, now it's not making the sound. Is it broken? I don't think it's actually about to light. Um, oh, now I tipped it over. It's I think it works. Yep, it definitely works. Wait, did I launch it over there? Wait, I gotta try that again. I got impatient and then I didn't get to see the explosion. Wait, let's take out the barrel of TNT. Let's put it, you know, we're gonna put it on top of the car because why not? Let's take out the ignition tool. Let's light the little hole. And now we're actually going to walk away and wait. This is a uh, car. It, it's it's the spiciest car in the history of cars. I don't even know what that means. Come on, TNT. You can see the smoke coming out of it like a chimney. And... Uh, oh, well, that's a fairly anticlimactic explosion. No, no, no. I got to try something else. What about a grenade? Yeah, let's try the grenade. This sounds fun. Okay, grenade. Let's put it right there. Ignition tool right here. And light the grenade. Beautiful. Come. Oh, that, that was actually better. That was better than the barrel of TNT, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Okay, I want to see if I could start going in some of these buildings. Like, what if I set off the nuke inside of a building? I, I feel like that would not go well. That that would not go well. Okay, uh, can I go in any of these? All of these buildings look closed. There's like a nice park. This is fun. Oh, pizza. You guys know how much I love pizza. Uh, nope, that, that would be a closed pizzeria, Brandon. Okay, I gotta find, I gotta find a door that's open. Okay, unless I'm being dumb, which is very possible, I don't think you can actually go in any of these buildings. I've tried basically every door. I, I like my floating car that I accidentally, uh, created there. Okay, you know what? That's fine. I saw a gas tank over here. Here it is. I want to, can I light this gas tank? Probably not, but I want to see if I can. Can I light it? Okay. 
Usually propane, gas, and fire do not go well. Nope, does not look like I can blow that up. All right, that's fine. Let's start taking out some of these big nukes. So if I go back over to the nukes, they also added some new fireworks also. Like, I think you guys were telling me there's like YouTubers that have their own fireworks now, novelties. Oh, here it is. Komodo. Komodo's got one. We've got Komodo. We've got Mr. Beast. Wait, I think they had Mr. Beast before. I think they had Mr. Beast and PewDiePie, but they got uh, Captain... Captain Sensible. I think that's Captain Sauce. We've got the Septicai in the sky. Okay, let's do all of them at the same time, because why not? Okay, let's put the Septicai in the sky. Let's go back. Let's get the Komodo. Uh-oh, I put that one kind of angled. Well, that's fine. Komodo always likes to cause problems anyway. And then we're going to put the Captain Sauce one up. Uh, also kind of angled, but you know what? That's also fine. Now let's go to the fuse. I should be able to connect all these together. So let's go uh, bop, uh, bop, and uh, bop. Okay, beautiful. This is going to be bad. This is going to be bad. Okay, three. So we've got the power of Captain Sauce. Komodo Gaming and Jacksepticeye all in one giant firework trio. This is going to be good. Okay, let's do that. Brand it. Brand it. Brand it. Light it. Okay. Ow. Okay. That was the... Whoa, we've got all of them going. Oh, that was so fun. I didn't even kill anybody, which is fantastic. Okay, so the Jacksepticeye one was, was green. The Komodo was kind of like burger colored. And the uh, Captain Sauce was green and red. That was a lot of fun. What else do they have? Oh, they have the Max Applier. I think that's got to be a Markiplier one. Did he play this game? I guess he must have played this game. Let's try this one really quickly. Then we're going to start blowing up some of the big stuff. Okay, Max Applier. It's got the little like pink uh, mustache on there. Whoa, it's a mustache firework. Okay, if the developers of Fireworks Mania are watching this video right now, which I don't know why they would be watching, you gotta add a frustrated one. You gotta add a frustrated firework. The, the, the frustrated firework. It's even alliteration. Wait, where did the where did the Markiplier one go? It just kind of disintegrated into the cosmos. Okay, well, that was really fun. Let's start with the big explosions now. So before any of the updates, I'm pretty sure the World Stopper was the biggest one they had, other than, like, that green one that you had to find hidden around the map, but I, I don't know if it's on the city map. I could be wrong. But this was the biggest one they had in the past. Let's try to light this just for comparison's sake, because when we light that giant nuke, I'm telling you, it's the biggest firework ever. I don't even know if it's a firework. Honestly, it might just be a nuclear bomb. That might be what it is disguised as a firework. Okay, so this is the World Stopper. This was the second biggest one they had. Okay, that was actually not that big. We got we got to find that one. We got to find that green one. Let me see if I could find it. I went back to the original town because I know this is where it was. I honestly don't even remember what it was called, but I remember what it looked like. So let's try to find that one. Wasn't it like in here? Was I... There's a question mark. How do I open these doors? Can I use like the physics tool? Oh, maybe I could have gone in some of the buildings in the city. What's this question mark? Is this it? That, yes, that was it. Okay, okay, it's called the Tim. It's called the Tim. So this was the biggest uh, fireworks slash bomb they had before the nuke was invented. Let's see how big this guy is first. What the heck, man? Where is the Tim? Fireworks? Am I being dumb? I mean, the answer to that is yes, but where the heck is the Tim? Oh, there's like smoke bombs. Wait, I get distracted so easily. I just want to see what the smoke bomb looks like really quickly. Ignition tool, light the smoke bomb. It's probably just going to be like blue smoke. Come on, Brandon, light the smoke bomb. Three, two, one, and... Okay, that's actually kind of cool. No, it's not going to blow up an entire city like I'm going to do at the end of this video, but that's that's kind of cool. I found the Tim. It was under the category specials. I actually just didn't see that before. Okay, so let's put the Tim down. Let's take out the igniter tool. So keep in mind, this was the biggest firework in the entire world before the brand new nuke. So here we go. I lit it. Oh my gosh, this is huge. I remember this one was really... Whoa! Okay. See, you know what? That one's fun, though. I actually enjoyed that. Now let's compare it to the nuke, which is just a bad idea. I decided to go back to the city for this experiment because, you know, just blowing up these giant buildings, it's just so much fun. So let's go back to our fireworks. One more time, I want to show you just as a comparison, the, 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 the Tim versus the nuke. So let's light the Tim. 
Three, two, one, and see you later, Timbo. I hope you have a nice trip to Mars. Or Okay, never mind. You didn't make it there. You blew up. So that was fun. That was really fun, right? Now let's go to fireworks. We're going to go to workshop. And we're going to go down to, here it is, the nuke. Okay, this is this is just not going to go well. This is just not going to go well. Can I aim it? Can I aim it up? I don't want it to go sideways. It's just going to fly into that, like, popcorn building right there. Uh, well, you know what? We tried our best. Okay, let's go back to the ignition tool. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. This is bad. This is going to be really bad. Three, two, one, go. Oh, it's like making sounds. But the, run, Brandon. Run, Brandon. Run, Brandon. Okay. I'm going to get as far away from it as I can. Hopefully, I will survive. I don't know how big this is going to... Oh, I'm going to break the game. Oh, oh, I'm absolutely going to break the game. This is not good. You can see the mushroom cloud. Things are just broken. Oh, here we go. We're getting some frame rates back. I'm, I'm running a potato as a computer right now. I'm getting about one and a half frames per second. Okay. It says a firework a day keeps the doctor away. Yeah, unless it's a giant nuke firework. Look at that mushroom cloud. Oh, this did not go well. Happy New Year. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and check out my other YouTube channel. It's called TFG Vlogs. And I will see all of you in the next video.